<clears throat> Hi, welcome to Zoho Expense. My name is Jason from the Blue Root team, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can submit an expense to be approved by your supervisor. On screen in front of you is my dashboard in Zoho Expense, and I've already submitted a receipt, so let's go check it out. Here in the receipt inbox, you'll see that I've actually got two different receipts. We'll focus on this one here. I wanna submit this so that I can get paid back for a business expense. When I open the receipt, you can see that already the auto scanner has filled out a lot of items for me. And I just wanna verify that they're correct and then prepare, it, uh, prepare this receipt to be an expense and that expense to be reported. From the auto scan, the date and merchant will automatically be filled out for you. And I added this category, but as you can see, this can be customized so that your business can have as many categories as you need or want. This is going to be meals and entertainment. I'm going to want to verify this amount, apply the tax if necessary. And here I've made sure that claim reimbursement is checked. This will be driven by your company policies. But what this means is that I will get paid back for this expense. If it is unselected, then this expense will be reported, but I will not be paid back. Here we can add a description. I'll make it simple. It's an internal company dinner. And the next section is more relevant if this was part of a customer project. I can actually select a customer to apply this expense to, and I can add a reference number, such as a customer invoice, my invoice to the customer, uh, or anything else that helps you label this expense. And right here, this checkbox, much like the claim reimbursement, pay to client would mean uh, that the client will pay you for this uh, expense. Finally, I can add this expense to a report. There are no reports found, but I'm gonna go ahead and select a new report. Now, the way that we have this set up here at Blue Root, the report title is gonna be generated automatically, and I can write in a business purpose. Per, ugh, purpose. And once again, I'm just gonna write company dinner. And you can write a duration if relevant. And then we'll hit save and next. Great, so now my expense is saved. You can see that it's no longer found in my receipt inbox. And that's because this receipt has already been converted into, into an expense. So here's my unsubmitted expense, the one that we just created. And we have this report when I open reports, Tom Hall, February, 2020, and it is in draft status. So let's go ahead and open that report and hit submit. So because I've already looked at this when it was an expense and there's only one expense, I know that my totals are all correct. However, if there were many expenses in this report, you may wanna spend some time here to just ensure that everything is up to, uh, is, is right. So let's go ahead and hit submit. And you can see here, it tells me who this report will be submitted to, my supervisor. And I could copy another person for a notification. So for example, I could send this report to myself as well, just for my own records. So now this report is submitted and ready to be approved. And so my supervisor will take a look, approve it, and I'll get paid for my expense. And that's how in Zoho expenses, I can easily submit my expenses without having to deal with a lot of spreadsheets or other tools. So thanks, and if you have any questions, reach out to the Blue Root team and we'll do our best to help you. Thanks for watching this video. Please be sure to subscribe to the channel and leave any comments in the section below.